hey everyone I just stopped by because you know yesterday as you saw my topic of this video you know I was so so overwhelming here you know at the house and um, and I was going from one thing to another you know I you know stop one moment and I just you know took a deep breath and I um, asked God for some directions. And as you can see, the topic here of my video, it says, are you at the breaking point? So exactly how I felt yesterday and, you know, and all the days I feel this way too. And um, it just had too much going on. You always know that I go from one thing to another. And, um, you know, always so busy, right? And yesterday I felt this way, you know, I had the house cleaner coming here to the house and I was running all day, helping her out to get things done the way I wanted. I had the people coming to clean the carpet because we had some issues with our, you know, sun pump and uh, the water just uh, damaged our carpet. And the top of all that, I had to schedule my Bible study with, you know, woman who love God from the Savvy Sex and Social here at the house yesterday that's supposed to start at seven. And I had a conference call at two, and the you know the call went almost until four o'clock, so you know I was so so overwhelmed. And then one point after I got done from you know my phone call, my conference call at four, I just you know was so overwhelmed. And one point I told God and I say, listen, you know I. I need to get ready for my Bible study tonight. And I even did not have the time, you know, I have to be prepared, you know, for, for the study tonight. So what happened, um, I, I have this book called Daily Devotional, the word for you today it comes from the Capitol Church. I don't know if you live around my neighborhood, but the Capitol Church is five minutes here from my home, is in Vienna. Is amazing church, you know, Pastor Tara and Amon, they're amazing. I have not been able to go there very often because we are always on the boat over the weekend. So at that moment that I felt overwhelmed yesterday and then I thought that I was in my breaking point, I just, you know, I closed my eyes and I asked God, so give me an award, you know, that can help me at this moment and just can make my, my heart to come down. And as soon as I open, you know, this little book here, so that's the word that was given to me. And I thought I want to share with you because it really helped me yesterday. And I was able to share with the ladies in our Bible study and, you know, it was tremendous. So I'm going to read this for you. Um, and it says, let him have all your worries and care. And this is 1 Peter 5, 7. I'm going to put here for you so you can read as well. And, and they start like that. Are you at the breaking point? So in the movie Limitless, Actor Bradley Cooper discovers a wonder drug that opens up the entire capacity of his brain. He can learn language in complex math in a fraction of the time it takes normal people. How cool is that, right? <laughs> he can recall almost anything he is read or seen. He can analyze more quickly and more in depth than the best financial gurus. He's limitless. You know, I think we all wish we were limitless, right? And he leveraged his ability to earn millions of dollars and achieve great success. So, you are probably thinking, where can I get some of those pills, right? That's what we're thinking right now. Where can I get some of those pills that Bradley Cooper got on this movie? Seriously. Today, over 50% of people are stressed out by the relationships, right? Over 60% are stressed out by the work and over 70% are stressed out by money. So, and this is so true. If you are saying, I have hit the trifect, so right, I'm worried about all, <laughs> right here is the word for you today so that's what you know the word was for me yesterday 
Let him have all your worries and cares, for he is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. You say, if you saw my schedule, you'd know why I'm at the breaking point, right? That's what we're always going to say. If you see my schedule, have no idea how busy I am, right? But who sets your schedule, right, each day? One of those three people, we will set your schedule every day. Either somebody else, if you have an assistant, right, can set your schedule. Uh, or you are going to set your own schedule yourself, right? Or you can go to God and ask Him to set your schedule, right? So one of the reasons God allow us to reach the breaking point is to force us to come to Him for guidance, for strength, and for direction. That is plenty in life that you can't handle, but there is nothing in life you and God can't handle together. The secret is in handling only the things God wants you to handle and trusting the rest to Him. So, amen. Amen. And I knew the word that the moment was for me because I was in my breaking point. I was so overwhelmed and I could, I thought I could not make it and I was stressed, right? But who set my schedule, you know? I set my schedule, but I have to learn, and this is exercise, and we discussed this, I shared this in our Bible study yesterday with the ladies, you know, that we have to understand and, and, and surrender. We try just to be in control of everything. And I even gave an example for them yesterday, like, think about it when you are in a car. If you are a driver, right? You're a driver, and you have somebody in your passenger seats, right? How do you feel if the person, the passenger, always say, oh, kill her, you know, slow down. Oh, go a little bit faster. Oh, there is a, you know, a stoplight right there. Oh, somebody just crossing the street. You know, you're going to get annoyed, right? And I feel like we are the same way because we do our prayers every morning. We tell God, you know, to be in control of our lives, to be in charge, but we don't relax. We still want to be in charge, you know, and we kept telling them, God, it just slow down or go faster or do this or do that, right? But we have to understand and let him be in control, you know, because yes, what can be a lot for us when we are, you know, aligning with God and if we are connected, you know, those things can be much easier. So that's my my message for you for today. If you are feeling like I was feeling yesterday and you're breaking point, right? So stop for a second and think about it, you know? You may have set your schedule, but ask God, what's the schedule, what he has on his schedule for you, right? So that's my message for you for today, folks. Um, you know, life can be so busy and so easy to get distracted and overwhelming. And if we don't hold in something bigger and stronger, it's hard to make it. And, you know, it happened that I'm, I'm a godly woman. I believe in God. But if you have a different faith, it's okay too. We have to hold, you know, with both hands. It's something bigger and stronger than us. Because we can't do this by our, ourselves. We need help. So I hope you enjoyed the message. And, um, and you can just think about it, all right? If you are overwhelmed. And enjoy the rest of your day. And just remember, be you, do you, and stay true. And I love you all, folks. Bye.